So today is the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Can't believe it's been 10 years already. But, if any of you want to know, there's merchandise of it. I'm actually wearing a shirt of it right now. And I'm wearing a bracelet of it. A lot of you are wondering what my bracelet says. I will read it for you. It says, 9-11-01, never forget, 2,977, which is how many people have died, in case some of you wonder. And there were 6,000 injured. But, a lot of people are asking, where were you when 9-11 happened? I was at school. I was 9 years old. So I was obviously in elementary school. But they actually didn't tell us right away. I don't even think they told us that day, actually. But, I obviously found out later when I got home. And it was very emotional for me to hear. Now, I wonder where if you guys want to make a video saying where you were at, that would be pretty cool. But, um, anyway. So, if some of you might have been too young or to remember, if you've been born yet. Because I know how there's getting younger people online now. 9-11, it was basically there were plane hijackings. And I think more, but... Mainly known for its plane hijacks. But yes, it's mainly known for the World Trade Centers getting hit, which looked a little bit like this. And part of the Pentagon getting hit. Then there was an attempt to attack either the Capitol Building or the White House, which ended up hitting a field. That was United 93. There's a movie on it about it. I mean, this movie has, like, actors and stuff. It's not like a documentary. So. <clears throat> excuse me. Um. So, 9-11 was very emotional, especially for a 9-year-old. And actually, so far, what I've been hearing, a lot of the firefighters and stuff were very emotional when it happened as well. So. And never forget. Because if we forget about this, it might, the chances are it'll happen again. And, um, oh, I'm still surprised at the 10 years already. Um, well, that's it. That's all I got to say. Take care.